Thanks, Ebenine. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're gonna be fine now. Thanks. And how many days will it take to recover? Don't you worry. You'll be able to dance as much as your heart desires, my dear. Ebenine's <laughs> medicine is so effective with her healing, it's been known to even give life to the dead. You silly <laughs> girls, oh my. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, see you soon. See, this is good for Baldy. You should use it. Every other day, 10 minutes before the shower, okay? Friction, etc. I'll write it down for you. You don't need to you... write it. I get it. Why do they call you Ebenine? <laughs> well, it was my mother's nickname. She was also a healer like me. I actually learned everything from her. Oh, Mommy. She was an extraordinary woman. She was tall and fit. She's from Crete. And she settled down right here. She got married right here and gave birth to me. Right here as well. I was with her all the time until all of a sudden she was gone. And after she died, townspeople started calling me Ebenine. You know, Ebenine here, Ebenine there. And so then I had inherited my mother's name that way. How nice. A very funny prostitute from Izmir calls me Ebenine. <laughs> Nine means nine in English. So it's Ebi Nine. I'll write Ebi Nine on the plaque of my store when I open it. <laughs> if you move to Istanbul with those recipes, you'll be famous for sure, I know it. <laughs> well, I'm already famous here, child. I'm second only to the governor when it comes to fame in these parts. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm so happy right here. All my herbs and my friends are here. But why aren't you married? Funny, that's the only thing that I can't find any medicine for. But I do have a great son. How is that possible? His mother left him to me. I've done everything except give birth to him. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Hi there. Hi, how are you? How are you? Huh? I was just talking about you with these ladies. I prepared some lemonade. Go get it. No, I need to take a shower and leave. Salem is introducing his fiance to all his friends. He invited me to Sinet Bay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go then, go. Okay, good luck, ladies. Thanks so, so much. much. Okay, we're done with these. If it doesn't work, call me. Call me even if it does work. I'll send some more over to you, okay? Okay, thanks. We'll see you All right, later. Goodbye. dinner, son? I don't know. I'll give you a call. Okay, fine. I'll prepare some food for you, but let me know as soon as you can. No, don't do it, but thanks a lot, okay? Who are you going with? Will everyone be there? Salem and his fiance. Huh? I picked up Varal. Varal is the son of that survey officer, right? Uh-huh. And Erdogan, too. Good. Except for you. It's just a group of useless punks. Uh, come on, don't say that. Grim? <clears throat> I'm here. Don't walk by the candles, you'll catch fire. What happened? Did you start drinking in the morning? And you drove the car? Look at yourself. What a pity. I'll break your head before you do. I drove slowly. Tomorrow I'll tell Gollum not to give you the car so you don't drive drunk. You idiot. And you promised me that you wouldn't drive anymore when you're drunk. Okay, I'm really sorry, huh? Come over here, will you? 
Did you use anything else, huh? Weed or something? Because those bastards use everything. Oh, Mary Ann, please. Mm. Are you feeling sick? Let me make you something to sober you up. Some coffee or something? I'll be okay if I just sit here in the open air, okay? Did you meet with Salem's fiancé? How is she? What kind of a girl would marry that guy anyway? <laughs> No wonder you're having bad dreams. Come on, you can't sleep well here. Go to your room. Go on. Have a good night. Yeah, good night.
Nothing happened to it, don't worry. Good morning. Good morning, man. I also put some gas in it. You make all the effort for those guys, don't you, huh? What can I say? But those guys are my friends. Do you think they consider you a friend, too? It's all one-sided. That's what I'm saying, Karim. Son, they don't care about you, okay? I just wish you would open up your eyes. They didn't even call you once during the winter. They only remember you while they're here. Not because they like you, but only because they're taking advantage of you. It's not like that, sir. They have a lot of chauffeurs working for them. And our friendship is something else. Even if we don't see each other for months, nothing changes, okay? You know, let's don't go back. Don't you ever let them be criticized? It's the truth. So, what happened yesterday? I met Veral at the airport. Erdogan came with Mr. Rasat. Salem and his fiance arrived in the evening. We met. She's pretty. Then we went to the new hotel, where Salem's guests are staying, you know? Well, it's crowded. They have a lot of things to do with the wedding, you know? 83. We had fun, though, you know? I went home, and so did they. It wasn't too late. Will you also meet with them today? No, maybe later tonight. Maybe? You mean if they called you, you'd get together? <sighs> Son, I wish you would let them be. They're not exactly your type. One is Rasat Yasserans, the other is Rafat Yasserans' son. There's nothing else to say. No, come on, don't say that, sir. They're not like their father at all. Mm. 